KSBW Weather with Art Jarrett. Welcome back. Take a look at these rain totals we picked up here. Almost two inches in Boulder Creek to just over a third of an inch. Uh, in Oh, this is a one and a third up in Scotts Valley, 1.45 in Santa Cruz, and all the way back to Watsonville. We picked up half an inch there, not so much, but hey, enough is enough, right? Hey, over just near a third of an inch for Pacific Grove, and, Tim, and all these uh, numbers just kind of wane off a little bit as you get further inland. And all the way down to Carmel, we got about a quarter of an inch or so, and then 1.1, 1.81 in Big Sur. That's a whole lot of rainfall streaming across the San Lucias. And then right back into Salinas Valley, we picked up a little bit more there as well, and it's always good to see these numbers, as I mentioned yesterday. Yesterday because usually they don't even get that much, and that's pretty good. Pinnacles picked up about 0.29. Into the Santa Clara Valley we go. We have uh, 0.34 in San Jose and 0.79 in Morgan Hill. Good returns in a third of an inch there, three quarters of an inch. I can't do my math today. It's all right. I'll pick it up. Here we go. There's that swirl of that rainfall moving in, just kind of dragging along. Most of this was more dy dynamic than anything else. We got the lift from most of the winds hitting that coastal range, and then there was some dry air associated with that. That helped with the instability. You can see some of the thunderstorms already all already in there as well, and that's going to bring more snow. That big snow event is actually now occurring, and that's going to continue on. First, they've got the rain, and that's going to have to cool down as those uh, storm, uh, as the, I should say, the, the freezing level drops, and those limits start to drop a little bit more so, under 6,500 feet to get more snow on the ground for you. Temperatures mostly a couple of degrees cooler than what we had just yesterday. That's because we had more cloud cover in that cooler air with the evaporation, and yeah, that helped out with that rainfall coming through. All right, so here it is. There's that uh, system that sweeps by, and there's another one right back on the wings, but what we're looking at here is high pressure is going to build in. And I got to tell you, it's going to get warm here again. There's the wind advisory, as I told you. It's no longer in effect for us here, but you can see it. it's mostly in the Central Valley, continuing all the way down through the valley into the Tatsby Mountains. So if you are heading on that way, it's going to be a big blow out there as well as up into the Sierra Nevadas, folks getting out to do a little skiing out there. They're going to get up to another 12 inches of snow out of this one. It's going to be nice packing it in so you can get on that board and have some fun. High surf advisory is in the bay. That will expire at about 3 a.m. And then you have winds going from 33 knots down to 5 not. So the surf's going to be up again. Here's a look at that high pressure building in. The storm sweeps out coming in just Monday and Tuesday. There you are. And there it is. It's going to hold on. That next storm I just showed you in the wings, that's going to get kind of pushed up to the north again. So we're going to see maybe uh, some clearing skies. The winds out of the south west turning into about uh, west southwest and then eventually west and northwest and that means we're going to get in some cooler air briefly and then look at that it starts to come right back in and we clear out nicely here are your temperatures right here mostly 60s all the way through the forecast area you might find a 70 in there as well Gilroy getting quite close a little bit of rainfall scattered showers for your morning commute and that'll taper off to isolated showers into the afternoon hours and then you continue on and we'll see more 60s all the way through the forecast region right back up into Boulder Creek again 62 66 in Santa Cruz, your forecast again, as I told you, breezy again, scattered showers, and the tapering late with the winds. And then your overnights, we're going to see more 40s getting into the 30s in some cases. We clear out nicely, high pressure bills. And look at that, Lauren. Yeah. Mm. You see the 80s right there mm -hmm. going into midweek? Oh, man, <laughs> do I ever. Just in time for AT&T. AT&T Pro, man, those people are going to be loving it. <laughs>